Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, here I am. I thought I would bring you to paradise with me. Actually, this is called Paradise Point, uh, Paradise Point, Washington. And I thought I would just come up to the, the mountains and reflect, you know, I never, I never come out here with the intention. I think the priority is to help myself to come up here and reflect about my own life. But <clears throat> if there's something extra that I could just share with my brothers and sisters, then, then I do. So I remember when I was, one of the first verses that I read from the Quran when I was a Christian in prison was Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Al-Hakamu Takathir Hatta Zurtumu al-Maqabir Kalla Sawfa Ta'lamun Thumma Kalla Sawfa Ta'lamun Kalla Law Ta'lamun Ilman Yaqeen Latarawunna al-Jaheem Thumma Latarawunna Ayn al-Yaqeen ثُمَّ لَتُسْعَلُونَ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَانَ النَّعِيمِ And I thought to myself, Bismillah. I thought to myself, as a Christian, I am being distracted from the worldly things. I grew up very, um, you know, upper class, never wanted for anything. And <clears throat> I realized that life was way more than what we can accumulate, what we can achieve. Sometimes you have to just come out here to reflect. And subhanAllah, it's, it reminds you of the beauty of life and it reminds you of the gift of life because not only the gift of life, but the gift of sight. I'm seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation out here. It's amazing. The beauty of Al Musawwir, the fashioner, the way he has painted this landscape, created it so beautifully. It reminds me to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the gift of sight so that I could even see this. The gift of my, you know, scent that I could smell the fresh air to be out here in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We really do have gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, which one of the favors of your Lord will you deny? And that's another verse that really caught my attention when I was in prison. I read that verse for the first time when I was a non-Muslim, when I was a Christian and given a Quran. And I thought to myself, and I said to myself as a Christian, I won't deny any of the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None of them. How could any of us do that? So I thought I would come out here as it gets the mind right, it gets the, the soul right, it gets the heart right, and, and share this with you. SubhanAllah. We're chasing the things of this, sorry, I'm, I'm leaning down here. We're chasing the, the, the things in this life which can't compare to this. I don't know, that there's so much cloud in the background, yeah. If you, if you could see it, it's Mount Rainier in the, right in the back. Unfortunately, it's a little bit cloudy of a day, but still, we're, st we're saying Alhamdulillah for, for everything, right? So, being out in nature, it, it forces a person to thank Allah for what he's, you know, I hear the, the birds just now. It's so beautiful that it makes somebody think, how could I actually waste so much time in front of a computer screen or in the city or in my house when there's this out here. I know a lot of you don't have this like I do, but there's parks, there's rivers, there's lakes that you can go to. And it really, it really refreshes, it refreshes the soul. 
it refreshes the soul. It gets, it's like I say that being out in nature, it resets everything. It really puts our lives in perspective and we really start to prioritize things, right? This is a place where your kids should be. You could get your gift, you, you could get your kids a gift for Eid. You can buy them things. They can amass all the things. Remember, al hakam the, the things of this life are diverting you or distracting you. But if you take them out to places like this, for sure they would never forget where their father or their mother and their father has taken them so that they could smell the fresh air, hear the birds, and see the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It really makes you think. And I'm hoping that you will think as I'm thinking. And I'm hoping that you will reflect as I am reflecting too. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.